being a Minnesota Fighting Vikings fan, we know, we know that the Greasy Grime and Green Bay Packers fans are the most delusional on planet Earth, where they're just like, hey, every single year, the division is ours, and we're going to win the Super Bowl. A, a Ron Rodgers, Bird Bones, uh, Calcium Sun, Boniva, yeah, he's going to get it done, please child please and what plays into this is the national media jabroni haircuts just constantly hyping up and fluffing up the packers and nothing has been more true than this offseason you, you look around yeah you look at the power rankings you look at the odds all of them have the packers easily walking away with the nfc north easily probably taking the one or two seed in the nfc and then easily going to the super bowl which blows my mind it, it, it does because you cannot say with a straight face that the Packers got better this year. Uh, you, you just cannot. And because the truth is, they got significantly worse. And I think that this fan base is going to be smacked with uh, two tons of reality, like right quick. Like I, I do envision like a six and eleven season forthcoming. Like I, I, I would be, su- I wouldn't be shocked if the Lions do better than the Packers this year. I said it. I, I said it, man. And it all starts and ends with a, a Ron Rogers, right? Uh, you know, bird bones, whatever, right? So the octogenarian is another year older, and now he's getting paid all of the money. So he's just sapping up all that cap space. And guess what? He's another year older. And also, you lost Devonta Adams, who now we can say, I, I respect Devonta Adams. I mean, I, I couldn't say it. It was Omerta. It was a code of silence when he was on the Packers, but I respect Devonta Adams. He is one of the best wide receivers in the game. He's not better than Justin Jefferson. <clears throat> Face. But uh, the fact that... Also, something that uh, no one's talking about. The fact that Devonta Adams turned down more money from the Packers just proves that he wanted to get the, the heck out of Dodge. And you know, going to the Raiders, going to Vegas, Viva Las Vegas, reuniting with, with his guy Derek Carr, Fresno State for life, and even going to the toughest division in football. I was like, ah, yeah, I'll, I'll do that. So no one's talking about that. You know, like, no one's talking about, oh, he wanted to get away from Rodgers. Like, you... You literally cannot pay Devonta Adams to hang out with Aaron Rodgers another year, which they tried to do. And then he's like, I'll take less money and go to Nevada. I love it, man. I love it. So, you know, Rodgers eating up all that cap space now. They traded Devonta Adams. They didn't get a ton for him. They cut Zadarius Smith, who just walked across the river after a tour in Baltimore, just coming over to the Minnesota Fighting Vikings. Uh, they're switching the defense. He's going to feel right at home. Him and Daniil Hunter will be the best the best edge rushing tandem in the National Football League. You lost Nathaniel Hackett to the Broncos. He took over as the new head coach in Denver. And don't sleep on that one because Aaron Rodgers doesn't like a lot of people, and he liked Nathaniel Hackett. So even though uh, Lafleur, the 12-year-old boy, uh, is supposedly this offensive wunderkind, right? I mean, Nathaniel Hackett was a big deal, and I think that they will miss him. They lost MVS to the Chiefs where... Uh, MVS uh, Valdez Scantling got a hilarious amount of money. So I understand it, but MVS was a perfectly fine, perfectly decent wide receiver four. So you're losing some of that depth there. They lost Shondon Sullivan to the Vikings. That's right, man. Holding it down from the slot. Let's go. Let's go. And their big move was signing Sammy Watkins. It was like, hey, we lost Devonta Adams, but we'll sign Sammy Watkins. And they didn't. Uh, again, for the 75th straight year, they didn't draft a first-round wide receiver, although they did take Christian Watson uh, at 34, which uh, uh, everyone's talking about, hey, well, the Packers made this big trade with the Vikings. The Vikings smacked the Packers in, in terms of that trade value, uh, getting the two second-round picks versus 34. No one talks about that, but hey, it's okay. And Christian Watson, physical freak, yes, but he's a project. He's a project. He's not going to step in and uh, step into Devonta Adams' shoes right away. Like respect, playing at NDSU, uh, he's going up against five foot seven cornerbacks uh, that were like my size, or probably working at Safeway now or Home Depot. I don't know, but hey, awesome, awesome. He just completely dunked on them. Hey, guess what? Now you have to go up against Patrick Peterson and Cameron Tiny Dancer uh, and, and those cornerbacks. Oh, Andrew Boo Jr. Oh, Clemson. Have you heard of it? It's kind of a big deal. W- whatever, w- whatever, man. I'm more worried about Romeo Dubes. Fourth round pick on Nevada. I really liked him in the draft process. He re- reminds me a lot of Stefan Diggs. So uh, maybe Dubes could be a problem there. But yeah, that, that's their big move. And that's their big issue where you cannot say that the Packers offense got better. You just can't say that because they got significantly worse. So it's okay. Uh, again, all of the national media just gassing up the Packers and just hyping them up. And it was like, oh, well, if the Packers can't win 17 games, maybe you know, if, if things go wonky, maybe they'll win 15 or 14 games, whatever. 
please. The Vikings are going to win the division. They're going to win it going away. And guess what? The Packers. Actually, I want to find odds. Can you bet the Packers on finishing under 500? Because I, I, I think it's a significant possibility. Because that defense is in flux. They lost Devontae Adams. I mean, Devontae Adams covered up a, a lot of stink uh, on uh, the Packers offense. Because Rodgers would just throw uh, F it. Devontae's down there somewhere. 17's down there somewhere. Uh, now his wide receiver one is Sammy Watkins. Okay. 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 Just, I'm here for the downfall. I'm here for the downfall, man. But Packers fans, they don't see it. But they're going to see it. In, in vivid color. Uh, the revolution will be televised, and it'll be this fall. Starting week one, historic U.S. Bank Stadium. The Vikings smack that all on the floor. Smack that. Give me some more. 50, what, 55 to 20? Maybe. And it's only sympathy points in the end? Let's go. Let's go, man. Uh, anyways, your thoughts are thoughts. The Greasy Grimy Green Bay Packers got significantly worse this offseason, and I'm here for it. Uh, let us know in the comments section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Once put the work, put a little something in the Venmo. But until next time, Skull Production Value.